please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. If you're interested in learning to trade successfully on sports, then why not visit the Bet Angel Academy where we have more detailed videos. So here's an interesting trade that I found for you. The setup is quite simple. We have a favorite that's trading near the crossover point and a second favorite that's trading near a crossover point. And we could trade either of these, but the predominant price action prior to this uh, getting involved in the market is that the favorite has been gradually coming in and the second favorite has responded uh, by going out. So we could say that there's a fair amount of backing support for the favorite um, and the second favorite is relatively weak in response. So obviously the market likes the favorite. Um, we could back the favorite at this particular point in time, but we've decided uh, to lay the second favorite simply because we're near the crossover point. That sort of insulates us a little bit um, if we get this particular trade wrong. If you don't know about crossover points, then we do have a video specific to crossover points that you should probably watch. But yeah, we've decided rather than backing the favorite here, laying the second favorite is a slightly less riskier option for us. And that's what we've decided to do. So the activity is underway in the market here. And while we're busy trading the second favorite here, um, we're keeping an eye on the activity that's going on here. We do want to see support uh, for this trade um, on the favorite. And you can see that there's about a thousand or so pound on the favorite at threes and that's temporarily holding up the price but if that breaks then we're going to get a little acceleration in the activity and the drift on the second favorite and you can see i've placed orders above where we are in anticipation that we could uh, get to that move to occur all the way up there so we're watching what's going on on the second favorite you can see that we're green all the way down to 3.8 we can hold this position for a while but for this trade to work really we've got the safety of going in at fours but we really need to see some activity on the favorite and see that getting backed in. So you can see my um, mouse is hovering around because I'm considering putting another trade in at this particular point. And if you keep an eye on what's going on on the favorite here, you can see money has come into support behind the current price activity. That significantly outweighs the amount of money that's stuck at three. So we're expecting it to break down, which is why I've added to the position and why we're looking for an, an extended move up on the second favorite. So you can see I put another closing order a little bit further up. The money's about to break threes on the favorite. We're just waiting for that move to begin to take place. And basically I was put there and there it goes. It's just gone at three. Um, and when the price breaks like this at a crossover point on a favorite, it tends to run down fairly quickly, about five or so ticks, and then it will pause. And then you'll know if it's about to continue onwards from there. But basically because the favorite is moving in, that's gonna help push the price on the second favorite out and then fill our orders above the current price. And the more our orders get filled above this current price, um, the more insulation we've got against a loss. So we're happy to hold our position here. You can see the, the chart uh, trending out from there. We're happy to hold our position on the basis that we've got plenty of money in profit here but we're hoping that it may reach a slightly higher price. But for that to happen, we obviously need to see the favorite getting backed in a little bit further uh, on here. So most of the orders that we've got in terms of closing positions here on the second favorite are quite speculative. We don't know if those prices are gonna reach, but we don't really care because it's, we're almost certainly not going to lose money here unless there's a catastrophic collapse in the price on the second favorite. So it's just a question of putting orders. We can see we're just checking the trend here on the favorite and the second favorite. It's just a question of thinking, where do we think that this price is gonna stall? So you can see it's stalling really about four and a half. For it to move up significantly further, we really need some more backing activity on the favorite and we've got a little bit there. But when you're exiting a position like this, what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, you're not trying to say exactly where is it gonna go, you're saying roughly where is the price headed? Where can I put orders where they're likely to be matched? And where um, do we think is a fair price, place for these to go? The longer a trend persists, you can see the favorite's gone right off the bottom of the graph here, uh, of the ladder rather, um, then the more likelihood you think we've got of reaching those particular prices. I've just centered the ladders there so we can see what the current price activity is. But you can see it, you know, we're stuck a little bit here at four and a half. So the longer this goes on, the more likely I am to move orders down to this level. And we're also in the last minute 
of um, this particular market. So the market can sometimes lose its shape in the last minute, so I'll tend to speed up the exit as we head into that last minute. You can see the favorite still getting a little bit of support here, um, but it's not really forcing the second favorite out. Um, so we're gonna to have to consider uh, looking to exit our position here, especially since we're getting very, very close to post time here. So we're letting um, our position ride in the hope of squeezing out as much as it can out of the position. And we're gonna leave uh, the orders in there for as long as possible, but eventually we have to start closing out our position to bring our trades to a close. So you can see here, I've got about 500 pounds to get rid of. It's just a question of what price is it gonna get filled at. I'm watching the pictures on course to see how long I've got left before the final bit of loading takes place. We're hoping that we're gonna get matched at 4.9, but you can see that it's not really gonna happen. We've run out of time. So I'm just gonna hedge um, the position across the entire market by clicking on the left column. And you can see there, we've got 150 pound uh, fully hedged trade.